Let's start creating the now moment. Imagine not waiting to feel fabulous after you can fit into that dress. That is definitely a now moment. Welcome to another exciting episode of Life Fire TV with me, Vanessa. You know, so often when I'm working with a client or, or even you, you're amongst girlfriends, you're, you're, the, the conversation comes up that, oh my gosh, when I lose that five pounds, then I'll be happy and then I will buy that amazing new outfit that I've been dying to buy. I'm asking you to rethink that, rewind that whole thinking of when I lose the weight, then I will buy that fabulous outfit, then I will feel fabulous, then I will feel happy. To creating the now, I feel fabulous moment right now before you've lost one pound. And that can happen in a couple of different ways. The first thing is go and buy that awesome outfit that you've had your eye on that will make you feel fantastic today. And when you can experience feeling fabulous now, that ease and less stress and acceptance that you have of yourself is going to help propel you towards your healthy goal that you desire to have. If you are constantly fighting yourself, I'll reward myself after, after I you know, beat myself in submission and lose the weight, that creates stress in your body. That's not going to do anything to help you really reach your goal. And I can tell you, even if you get there, you're going to feel exhausted and not real happy about the process. So put on that fantastic outfit. Go ahead, buy it today in your right size. So I want to share this, this next point of, of really getting us into the now moment. I think this is really critical because we as women get hung up on the numbers. So are we a size 24? Are we a size 28 or 32? You know, 4, 6, 8, 18. The numbers run the gamut. But here's, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Designers, they're across the board. So if you go into the gap, and you know, for myself, I go in and you know, and I'm size zero. I can go to Diane von Furstenberg, and I can be a two, four, or six, depending on the particular cut um, and the style. So don't get hung up on the numbers. That is the biggest thing. You know, if you think about it, Marilyn Monroe, I believe she's either a size ten or a twelve. Amazing, gorgeous woman. These are all numbers. They don't define your inner beauty, your outer beauty, or anything else. Here's another little trick, I'll tell you. If the numbers really do get in your head, do what my girlfriend does. I think it's a fantastic thing. You know, I, I'm, I'm not just gonna buy this one particular size. Okay, I will go into the dressing room and try on a variety of sizes and actually purchase the piece of clothing that fits my body best. Once she got to that point, she would purchase the outfit and then as she would cut off her, her sales tag, she'd cut off the size tag so that it was never something that was glaring her in the face every time she put on her favorite pair of jeans. She didn't need to see what the size was because really it was irrelevant. The pants she put on made her feel fabulous. They fit her like they were supposed to fit. End of story. So the next thing that is really important to create your now moment is to stop the body shaming. We all do it and you may say, what's, what's body shaming? Body shaming is what we do to ourselves. Think about maybe you've said, oh, I can't stand my hips. Oh my gosh, my, 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 my breasts are saggy. Ugh, look at my stomach. Look at the stretch marks on my stomach. Or, oh my God, this, this, this stuff by my arm, I, I can't stand it. Whatever, you, you know, ladies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What do you think? That looks so sexy. <sighs> are you kidding? Hi, I'm Cellulite Sally. Look at my huge badonkey. Oh, and don't forget about me. I'm back fat baby. Now, who could have said that? Oh, yeah, it's Tina the talking chummy. I can't even wear a short skirt and a top without looking like a fat bitch. We are like vicious bullies to our own bodies. If we are going to live in a now moment, a, a moment of loving our bodies, that that mentality, that self-beating has got to, to curb, has got to stop. Instead, when we look in the mirrors, we've got to look at, you know, 
look at all the beauty that is there. Start seeing and appreciating your body. And this really gets me to the next and final how to create a now moment. Please remember how much your body does for you. This amazing body is so powerful, powerful beyond measure. And we take that for granted every single day. You know, you think about, you know, for me, I think about my legs and I, I give my legs so much gratitude because I get to run, I get to, I get to walk, I get from point A to point B effortlessly. I am so grateful and in love with my arms because I can hug my family, I can hug myself when I need a little self-love. I want you to take inventory of your own body and give it a love fest and do what I do. I'm in the shower every day and I'm running down all the great parts of my body and, and the parts that, that maybe aren't my favorites, they're getting even extra love. It's actually not that difficult to create an amazing now moment. If you just follow these few tips, let go of the numbers. Start loving what is. Stop being a bully. Live in the moment and know that feeling fabulous isn't something that's in the future and isn't something in the past, but it's something that you can have right now this second. And even if you don't want to buy that new dress, then buy the gorgeous new necklace or go get the new manicure with your favorite new color. Do something that makes you feel fabulous right now because I promise you that feeling is what is going to help you get every single desire and goal that you have in life. Until next time, beautiful, healthy, fabulous, in the now moment, healthy hugs. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and please share it with the world. One more important thing, head on to vanessachamberlain.com and sign up for free updates so you can get the information and insights that I don't share anywhere else. And as always, leave your comments below to get this ball of discussion rolling.